Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Sean Soulstar here. Now, before we get into today's first video of this week's awesome Monday Night Raw action here on my channel, which is a pretty cool match, by the way. The first match of the week is going to be great. But today, I'm going to bring you an exclusive interview. It's going to be unbiased. It's going to be my interview with Jake the Backstabber Cage. The man who stabbed Jay Evans in the back. Now let's get right into the interview. Uh, first question, Jake, I gotta ask is why did you stab, you know, Jay in the back? The man, he gave you everything. He he gave you a start. You know, he introduced you to Grimm. He made you. You owe him everything. Why did I stab Jay in the back? He stabbed me in the back by leaving this business. He did not make me famous. I made myself famous. I don't owe Grim anything. All Grim owes me is a title shot. All right, all right, all right. Now, 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 next question, Jake. Next question: Why do you keep telling the fans, the people, lies about the reasoning Jay Evans quit? Because we both know it's not the truth. And I'm not lying about why Jay retired, it's a fact. Final question is what makes you think? Hi Jay, 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 what makes you think you can beat Jay the Kiel? He last time I checked, he already beat you. Clean. I think I can beat Jay. I know it because I'm two and one against him. He caught me off guard, but I've beaten him twice to one. And it'll stay that way. And I do not remember this, but I did ask Jay the Key Evans, and yeah, supposedly, I think it may have been when Jake Cage first joined um, GTS. I think when it was the when he's under AWE. I think maybe I think, but assuming he did beat him twice, but it doesn't matter. See, now see, look at that was before Jake got jacked. Now he beat him. Now, and, and honestly, guys, you know that concludes our interview today. But see. There you have it. Lies after lies after lies by Jake Cage. First, let me tell you the truth. Okay, for those of you who don't know, right? He he stabbed Jay in the back because he's jealous. The fact that Jay is better than him every way, shape, and form. And Jay, because it's nothing that, because he knows the reason why he retires. Not because of his girlfriend or anything like that. Okay, I assure you. No woman, no person would ever allow him to stop him from his dream. Even if that was the case, which is not, why would he be making a return? You guys may not know this, but the reason why he retired was because of his back. That's why I was. That's that's what he told me, and he told people on a couple of uh, Instagram live. That's the reason why, because of his back problem. You know, he took a lot of punishment. Remember that, that GTS ladder match? You know. He posted pictures of like like a, like a red mark in the back. You know, he, wrestling is no joke. It's not plush. It's it's not memory foam in that ring. It is a piece of plywood with a very thin piece of padding. And yeah, you know, a lot of it's, you know, you don't really actually hit each other. It's not like UFC, but you do take bumps and they hurt. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, doesn't feel good. It just depends. Some people are, are lucky. It's all luck. And you just happen to be the unlucky one. But He's probably not as bad to where he has to full on retire because he's gonna come. He's coming back. And, and another lie is that he says that you know uh, that he can beat J D K Evans. There's nowhere in the world he's gonna beat J D K Evans. It's, it's not gonna happen. And he doesn't deserve to be the YouTube champ. He doesn't even deserve to be the number one chicken tender. In my my opinion, he should, he deserves to be on the list of the people on GTS that. Are, that are getting fired. He deserves to be fired. But that, just for what he did, he's not really a great wrestler. Come on, people, really? You know what I'm saying? Jay beat him before, he'll do it again. He'll do it again. He has no problem. No doubt in mind that JD Kevin, he's going to win when him and Jay Cage have his match after JD Kevin's takes care of business and beats down Kurt Fail. There you have it, folks. An unbiased interview from Sean Solstar from Jake the Backstabber Care. I thought, why not get a cameo? Ask the hard-hitting question. That's what I did here. So stay tuned later on tonight when I bring you a new episode, new edition 
of Monday Night Raw where you'll see Tanner Black in action. WWE Fan Talk Show in action. You're going to see Kurt Fail, the Prince of the Universe, Jimmy Contra, and of course yours truly, uh, uh, Jay, the Key Evans, the WWE Champion over 440 some odd days now. So congratulations on that. See you guys next time right here for Monday Night Raw.